You cannot know the template for the things you do until you measure it with the right attitude and motivation that works well with the thoughts of God. Four things that the desires and the attraction you have for someone are from God. Number one, it keeps all moral faith in God. The mind and the body of a person is controlled by the impulse of the feeling that comes around them. If you know the things that you are seeing in a person and these things are the things you find pleasant and sweet which is attracting you to someone. You have been in that feeling, but you want to know if it is pleasing to God. Now, this is how you will know. Whenever you check the feeling you are having for that person, and you see that it is keeping all the moral faith in God, it is not wrong for you to develop feeling of love for someone. It is not wrong to be attracted to someone or to keep a loving interaction with that person. It is not even a bad one if you have that feeling in your heart all day long, but you have to know that all things you must do must be measured with the original template of the love of God for us. Now, how does God love us? Is the love of God keeping us in faith or destructive? This is what you should use in measuring your attractive feeling and desire to have that person in your life. What are your intentions? What do you want from them? Do you want to give to them, make their life good, or do you want to use the feeling you have as a reason to destroy things in them? To do what you are not supposed to do to your fellow human being. That attraction you have, what is driving you in it? Your real love or your lustfulness? Your sinful desire or your God kind of love? Because if it must be love, then it must give and be harmless and not take away from that person. Have you not read that God loves us and He gave us His only begotten Son? So, your attraction and desires towards that person must be a feeling that is not against the feeling that God has already had for you. If your attraction and desires are godly, then you will know that it is from the Lord because God broods on us His love to work in us so that we will use it to affect the lives of those that are with us and those that we want to bring into our lives. That is when you will know that it is all from the Lord. Number two, if there is a futuristic plans involved. One reason you must have something working in you is always for the future. You will check if there is a prospect in that attraction. You will know if that person you are attracted to and desire to be with is the person that you want to be with. You cannot just be attracted to someone unless there is something in mind. You will not be desiring to be with someone or having someone in your life if you do not have something that is making you like that person. Now, if you want to know if that attraction is from the Lord, you will weigh it with the futuristic tendency. Is this person my kind of person? Can they fit into my future? But you cannot get this right if you do not have a plan and a future that you have seen for yourself. If you have laid down a plan for yourself and you have created a future for yourself that you will work into reality, then you will check the feeling and the person you are getting attracted to if you have any tendency to go farther than just a feeling. You know people do not check these things before going into a relationship. They just build relationships on feeling, but little do they know that feeling may not be stable. It is easily influenced by the prevailing atmosphere that is for that time. So if the appealing feeling now sees or hits something that is not pleasant in another instance, that is when you suddenly see that person that has professed love to you is now the one making you feel unloved and hated. When the attraction meets a futuristic plan, and if that person is the person you want to have in your life and your future, then you will have to know that it is God that is working things out. Now the question is, can it work for everyone you see? The answer is no. This may work for everyone you meet or see that is appealing to you. But when you meet the person that God has sent to you, it is always a different situation because the feeling will go beyond just mere feeling and talking. There will be something you may not be able to explain that will be driving you towards that person. 
You will want to know that force, but you cannot understand it. However, when you are wrongly attracted to the wrong person, the driving force will be notably understood, and that is the flesh and the desires of the flesh. You will have the confirmation that is from the Lord if the difference is clear to you. Many may have come your way, but the difference will always show that the person you are beginning to get attracted to is from God if you see them in your future from your present. Are you already visualizing the future with that person? Number three, if it is not taking away the fellowship you are having with God. At some point in your life, you will want to do things the way you want it to be and not the way God wants it to be. You will want to have some freedom from the ordination of what you think has been the reason you have narrowed yourself to the things that you are doing, but you want to go to some extent beyond what you have reached. The feeling will be from God when it is not a distraction from your faith from the Lord when it is not the reason you are going away from the loving fellowship you have with God. The Lord intends that you will have what will give you those things that you have always wanted, those good things and the best spouse. And that is what you will have if you do not have to get yourself distracted by the wrong things that are not true that may come up in your ways. No matter what you are going through in your feeling, it will always reveal the spiritual base if it takes you away from God or it is the real reason that you are growing stronger and better in your life. You will know if it is not from the Lord, if all the attraction is a distraction to make you fall away from the faith and you begin to have wrong thoughts in you, rather than keeping the sanity of your mind and your spirit with the spirit of the Lord. These are the signs for you to work with if you want to know if your feelings of attraction towards someone are from God. If you are still in a fellowship with God, even as you desire to be with that person, then you can go ahead. Number four, if God has spoken to you. The words and the voice of God is the very important thing that everyone needs in the building and in keeping your life in the spirit active. You will need the voice of God to know when you are with the right person, when you are attracted to someone, and you want to know if God is in good approval of that particular desire that is growing in your life. God will speak to you. God will send words to you. It may come in any means, but what matters is that you understand that God is speaking to you. If God has spoken to you, then you will have every luxury of a decision to continue with what you want to do. That person that you are attracted to and you have gone ahead to ask God about it, and you know that God has spoken to you, then you will now know that it is from God. Yes, God could be positive or negative, but what matters is what God has said. God could say yes, it is from me, and God can say no, that attraction is not from me. It is through the result of the words that you have received from the Lord that you will know if that desire and the attraction is really from the Lord. God will not let you go the wrong way, and you must not let yourself go into the wrong path. If you have not received any conviction, you must understand that you must not take any other step until you know what God is saying about it. Remember the person you have in your life will tell you how far you will go. The spouse you choose for yourself will determine the good life and how bad your life will be. So choose wisely. Congratulations.